Hi, and welcome to this Digital Tutors training kit on rendering techniques in XSI. Now throughout the course of this training kit, we're going to be delving into some of the features and some of the tools that XSI has available to really make your renders happen with less time, and as you'll see, also making your renders happen in the most efficient way possible. So let's take a look at a breakdown of some of the lessons that we're going to be looking at throughout the course of this training kit. Right, we'll get started with the process of working with materials and exploring exactly how materials really, really affect the way that your renders will come out in the final render. Once we've had a chance to talk about materials, then we'll start to look a little bit into the process of texturing and using photographic references as textures for your 3D objects in XSI. From there, we'll take a look at how we can actually take these images back over into XSI and then map these images onto various parts of the bus. From there, we'll start to delve a little bit deeper into the process of working and manipulating the actual materials that make up the various parts of this bus's body, so controlling things like reflection, transparency, and a few other things. From here, we'll start to break down some of the various lights that XSI has to offer and exploring some of the different properties and some of the different parameters that control exactly how these lights behave and what makes them behave the way that they do. From here, we'll start to talk about image-based lighting and how we can use that to add really a nice bit of realism to our final renders. So we'll talk about image-based lighting and high dynamic range images. From there, we'll get into more realistic outdoor light setups and exactly what we need to do to accomplish these types of renders. Once we have a solid grasp on the process of lighting and assigning lights and really controlling the lights in your scene, from here, we'll start to take a look at XSI's render passes and exploring how to create things like depth passes, as well as creating our own custom passes to do things like ambient occlusion and things that XSI normally would not be able to do as far as a render pass. We'll take a look at how to set up our own custom render passes to achieve whatever effect that we need. From there, we'll talk about how to actually render your scene out in multiple passes. From there, we'll actually start to use XSI's built-in compositing system called the FX tree to bring all of these different passes together and not only composite these back together, but also make some really, really significant changes to these rendered images after the render's already occurred. So we'll have to show how to use this depth of pass, or this depth pass that we create to create these really, really nice depth of field effects so we can bring the focus to different areas of this rendered image if we so choose. And from here, we'll really start to have some fun with it. So we'll take a look at how we can modify the colors of various parts of this bus, how we can really, really make very, very heavy changes to this final render without ever having to go back into XSI and re-render a single thing. So we have a lot of material to talk about over the course of the next few hours. So let's go ahead and get started.